just after 11 on Tuesday night. There are people running and then someone said they heard gunshots. Someone fired a handgun multiple times at Portland International Airport near the D and E concourse security checkpoint. There was about six or eight TSA people who came rushing towards us and actually in loud voices and I would qualify it as yelling saying, go back, go back, active shooter. Go back. Kelly yeah. Soonberg had just and returned to Portland about, yeah. and was getting off the plane. She says in the chaos, she turned to run and then fell. I just took a big tumble on the ground, just fell on my face. My glasses went flying. My bag was on top of me. In another part of the airport, Alex Epperly was shocked. waiting for his flight, heading back to the East Coast. They kind of ferried us into the jetway of our what was going to be our plane but the previous flight was still deboarding. Both Epperly and Soonberg waited as many people panicked around them. There were a lot of people, you know, hugging each other. People were tearing up. Your brain just goes crazy. You're starting to think, where can I go? Where can I go? Where can I hide? The Port of Portland says the suspect, 47-year-old Laura Patterson, was arrested soon after she fired the gun. One of the, of the flight attendants comes on to the intercom and says, Hey, everybody got a little update for you. Um, the shooter has been taken care of. Patterson faces multiple charges, including four counts of attempted murder. While no one was hurt, both wish the airport was able to communicate more clearly. The crux of the issue is like there was no communication really in a standardized fashion as to what was going on. And I'm sure they were all pumped up on adrenaline um, when they came running down the hall at us. But it's really imperative if you're in that kind of job, when you're giving those kind of messages to a group of people, you need to stay calm. At this point, we don't know with the suspect's motive, but Patterson is due in Multnomah County Court tomorrow afternoon.